Okay, so walk me through what 2024 looks like from an economic perspective. And as we look at this conflict unfolding in the region, what impact is it having on UAE domestic growth and investment? Well, the, the region, the economy for the UAE, we are on a, on a target to reach uh, 3 trillion dirhams by 2031, which needs about 7% growth uh, yearly. Uh, we did that in 2022, uh, we did a 7.9% GDP growth, 7.2% uh, was non-oil GDP. First half of uh, 2023, we did a 3.5% GDP growth with a 5.9% non-oil GDP. Now, we're not going to uh, close the year on the, uh, on the target of 7%, but on non-oil GDP, we're doing a really above 5% and really diversifying our economy. Now, for 2024, we have the prediction of the, the World Bank and the IMF, uh, where, the, where the UAE is growing on 4 to 5% of, of GDP. Uh, I always would like to challenge that percentages, working on policies and regulations to really unlock a lot of uh, uh, opportunities in the U.S. economy. We need to do 7% on oil and non-oil GDP more specifically, specifically on oil, overall GDP and non-oil GDP more specifically. And I think that's something which is uh, we're looking at new policies coming in, specifically more for green growth and really decarbonized economy moving forward. So how do you align policies domestically in order to achieve that 7% number that you speak of? Well, what we did in the last three years, for instance, we, we uh, deregulated the company law. We gave 100% ownership to foreign investors. Uh, we have uh, revamped our visa regimes, gave the golden visas and green visas. So really understood as well the really challenges for any economy is talent. Uh, and I think that's the, the most important part of it, because when the UAE, the UAE is in kind of in the middle of the world, We've been for the last five decades a uh, uh, seaport. Uh, the last three decades we've been an airport, and the last decade we've been a brain port. And I think that movement of of thinking where, where the UAE really stands and positions itself in the middle of the world can really bring economy and open new companies. We had with these such policies 275,000 new companies, new license that never been before, and the UAE established and stabilized itself. Mm. A lot of people say the UAE economy, particularly the economy in Dubai, might be at or near peak, maybe even past. What's your view? I think, well, that's a, that's a good view, and I'd love to really be on that optimistic approach. Uh, but we need to really, really go back to strengthening our basis to understand where we can really pivot our economy and move it forward in a world where we're going to be high inflation, high interest rates. So being realistic as well on the global challenges and the crisis that we're going to be living, I think it's something which is uh, need as well a different lens on looking on economic policies and more specifically on how do we do, how do we engage with the private sector more on ease of doing business, the cost and moving as well, more of that regulation down as well, why, why we're going to implement very soon as well, soon or implemented the corporate tax and as well moving on with that.